Hi, this is Ray from LoveYourRV.com again, and today I have a, a sweet project to do. I'm going to install two 100 watt solar panels on the RV. We're finally going to get into the solar. Um, getting this for Christmas. So I'm kind of excited. It's a, it's a pretty cheap kit. I think it was about $369 plus shipping, maybe $400. Got it off Amazon. And I got my trusty helper, Angelina Beagleina. She's going to direct me, be my little foreman. And the kit just arrived. It's a, let's see if I pronounce this right, Renology? Renology? I don't know. I can't pronounce that. Anyway, it comes in a nice little box there. So I'm going to go over there and open that up and see what we got inside. There we go, all unboxed. And we got the two panels over here. Got one flipped upside down to show you what's underneath. And a connector box, and then there's 20 feet of uh, cable to go down to where the charge controller will be situated. So I'm going to try to get that as close to the batteries as possible. So there's uh, the least line loss in my uh, system. Also, you get a couple. Uh, Y connectors here so you can uh, parallel the panels together and then a couple boxes of mounting hardware these are called a Z bracket or Z bracket for Americans and you go just like that oh, other way around and then we'll be able to mount those to the roof so next step is to uh, locate a path through my uh, Keystone Cougar, the, the straightest path, so I can use, I don't have to extend that 20 foot cable any more than it is. So I think I'm going to drop it through uh, a vent, roof, right beside a roof vent, the vent that does uh, my gray tanks seems to be the straightest path. So it's going to come down right from the roof up there and straight down and then I have some uh, holes through from the plumbing under the sink and then I'm hoping to go through the, the front wall and then into the front compartment where my batteries live and then I should be able to mount the charge controller somewhere against the wall in there so first thing is to uh, check things out on the roof so here we are up on the roof of the Keystone Cougar fifth wheel and I'll uh, show you where I've decided to place the panels right at the front here away from any obstacles so they won't be shaded by anything as the Sun moves around in the sky and I'm using this vent that's the the bathroom vent and then this is the vent for the gray tank and it'll drop straight down along the wall and into I should be able to fish the wires in underneath the bathroom sinks cabinet so uh, I've sent them down there and sealed them up so let's go down and see where they come out in the bedroom under the bathroom sink here is where one of the venting pipes comes down from the roof coming through the wall there so I took off these uh, plastic things are around there to seal the hole and now I've just cut away a little bit so I can get a hold of the wires when I string them down but they should come straight down from that vent and straight down in the wall I should be able to snag them and uh, pull them through and I can feed them down into the basement there we go okay I had to cut a little bit of a hole in there to try to find the wires in the wall but it's all under buried under the sink no one sees that area so I can just uh, put on an axe like a little patch on that just another piece of wood screwed in that'll be fine so I'm gonna wrap it around the back of the plumbing and she'll head off into the basement down there should work out so now I'll show you in the basement where the wire comes down from under the bathroom sink see my plumbing there 
and drop straight down into this far corner of the storage bay. So I drilled a little hole to feed the wires through over into the propane storage compartment. And then I've ran it through a plastic conduit cable. Keep it neat and tidy. Keep the wires from chafing through and into the where the the batteries live. That's nicely out of the way, so I'll be able to put my propane tank back in there. So for uh, attaching the panels to the roof, what I've done first is just laid down a piece of uh, a turnabon tape, and then I drilled pilot holes just with a small drill bit so that uh, I could get the screws started. Underneath I put some uh, lap sealant and I coated the screws with lap sealant and then uh, just hand tighten them down. So once I get them all snug down, I don't want to overdo it because I don't want to strip the hole. I want the, the nuts to have a good bite. And then I'm going to go over the whole thing with uh, more Dicor lap sealant. And I may even cover that with a, a turn -a on tape. So hopefully that'll uh, keep the panels nice and secured to the roof. So here's the final install on the roof. Give you a closer look at what I did. So I've laid the two panels on one side over here so that I can easily add another two to get 400 watts. And they're at the very front of the fifth wheel and there's a slight tilt to them so if I point the nose into the sun like I often do when I'm boondocking I should get a little extra uh, power out of them. Um, the lines run under and I've covered the lines with some of that uh, Eternabon tape to kind of keep it in place and it won't blow around in the wind. And uh, right next to the vent here is where, uh, where it drops down into the bathroom wall and all the way down to the storage bay. And I've covered all that with uh, lap sealant to seal off the hole. And you can see there's the final seal on the, the mounting brackets. So yeah, I think that's going to be a good addition to our Cougar. Give us a little bit of uh, solar power when we're off enjoying some boondocking locations. Now inside the front storage compartment I have my uh, solar wires coming out. I just uh, used some of this uh, this conduit, plastic conduit, so it wouldn't uh, chafe the wires or anything. So it comes out, and I've uh, attached them to my back wall here. Uh, I got a 30 amp fuse to protect the solar panels. Um, there's my charge controller, and. So I have the solar panel wires going into the charge controller and then I have a set of wires going up to my 6 volt batteries. They're inside that box there. I also installed a 30 amp fuse in there. And I also took an old meter I had and stuck it in line so I could see the current coming off the panel. So you can see right now I have 3.99 amps coming out. Kind of a good way to recycle an old multimeter so I can at least get an indication of uh, what kind of output my panels are putting out. So it makes a nice little setup there. So it's nice to have the charge controller located very close to my batteries. So only have about a two foot line into the batteries and I've used regular uh, battery cable size batteries wire just in case I ever uh, you know add more panels need more current capacity at least I won't have to rewire them right now this is like a little overkill but in the future it might not be 
So yeah, I think that's a nice clean install in there. Well, a little update to my grand plan here. Um, I got to thinking and then I figured out that I made kind of a boneheaded error. When I ran the wire down from the the bathroom down into the basement storage, I don't know why I thought I had to go through the, the propane area when I could just run it straight across, drill a hole, and come out the other side. And that's because I was kind of worried about having electrical wire running through where the propane is. I know the odds are that the propane's not going to leak at the same time that I get an arc off the wire, but just from a safety uh, thing, it's better to keep wires out of there. So we'll go around into the bay. You can see that uh, just pops straight out through the, the wall there. And I was able to save a whack of wire probably cut about 10 feet of total wire off my run so that's always good when you're dealing with solar the shortest route you can find is the best so there we go tomorrow I'm gonna head out into the desert and do some boondocking and give her a test so stay tuned well I'm out at the Salton Sea and uh, doing some dry camping, boondocking here, and it's a great chance to test out the panels. I've had a few sunny days. There's my panels all uh, soaking up the sun. So let's go down and see how they're performing. So I arrived here yesterday and the batteries were fully charged. I did a little bit of testing by turning on all kinds of lights and things in the rig. And around noon I got my maximum output from the panels I had about 8.25 amps at 13.25 volts so I was quite happy to see that especially considering it's one of the shortest days of the year and the sun's angle is very low then once the sun went down around 430 I was just on battery power so I uh, did all the normal things I did do to uh, conserve, use the lights, but I uh, used my laptop and my uh, internet device. Uh, I watched a couple hours of TV on my 32-inch uh, flat screen TV and uh, then it also was quite a cold night so uh, after I turned my little uh, buddy heater off I used the furnace all night and it ran quite a bit. I kept the rig at about uh, 64 degrees so I didn't try to overly conserve energy. When I got up there was still pretty good juice in the batteries. I think it was about 12.5 volts on them and uh, then once the sun started uh, shining again I started to get some charge going with the, the panels. Now we're uh, about quarter to ten here so take a look at my uh, amperage meter and see what we're looking at right now. Okay, so we're drawing about uh, 6.8 amps into there, and that's only uh, not even 10 o'clock yet, so it's uh, charging my batteries back up, and uh, if it remains sunny, I could uh, go without the generator, no problem. Maybe on a cloudy day it might not keep up and I'll have to run the generator. Also, down the road, I'm going to add two more of those panels on the other side up there. So right now, I'd be able to get uh, close to 13, 14 amps. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that system. It's worked out well. That should uh, really uh, come in handy for our boondocking adventures. Gets us out into places like this. Don't have to listen to the noise of the generator or mess around with fuel and lifting it in and out of the truck. Awesome. So, this is Ray from loveyourrv.com. Hope you enjoyed another uh, mod install video and happy trails. Cheers.